put these on after you put the plate on because this nut post here stops it. Remember, you got to put the uh, time side great wheel in in before anything else goes. And once you uh, can start some nuts, go ahead and start some nuts. And once you get all four nuts on, you're almost done. Now I have this screwdriver with these slots in it and that's when I grab a hold of the arbors and I push and pull and push to put those into the uh, pivot holes. Having technical difficulties, I got my hearing aids in and my left hearing aid fell out. So anyway, um, starting with the uh, time side, I'm going to use my screwdriver and push the gears into the appropriate spot and tighten up the nuts as I go. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, you can also use your finger as you go. And the uh, bird and crutch assembly needs to go back into its appropriate spot. Gate wheel just doesn't want to go in this hole. There we go. Now the bridge and crutch assembly. Now I can tighten this nut down a little bit more. I might have to loosen it to do the uh, 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 strike side. Getting these plastic levers, you know, you're dealing with plastic. If you break the plastic, then the world that we live in today. The verge assembly came out of its hole. And you just slowly work around. I got pressure on the plate. So I'm slowly working around. This lever right here is what normally stops you. So you have to... Uh, figure out how that goes on.
and I need to start my last nut, which is the end nut here for the strike side. The third wheel, escape wheel, the third wheel's warning pin is not wanting to cooperate. And this plastic lever here is throwing me fits. It all looks like it's in the appropriate holes, except for this uh, plate, rear plate nut don't want to go down, and I'm trying to figure out why. My locking lever get out of the slot that I wanted it in. That did it. What it was, the uh, the top lever here, the top, the high delt lift lever, it's got two plastic tabs on it. And I had it in the wrong spot. Well, actually, it's got three tabs. This longest tab here hits the A-point star wheel, and then it's got these two tabs. Well, this lever here, the uh, low delt lift lever, it's only got actually two tabs, a little tab, and the one that hits the um, uh, eight point star lever. So once I put the uh, uh, high note lift lever in the right spot, everything locked into place as it should. Time side works great. However, the uh, strike side's working correctly now. It wasn't a while ago. So, um,. Anyway, I, I got to put the other levers on and then uh, put this movement. Um, sorry, first of all, I got to oil each pivot hole and then put all the other levers on and then uh, put the chains on, put the clock back in the movement. And. We should be good to go. Unfortunately, my back is starting to bother me. 
So I know y'all hate seeing two part videos, but I only work on clocks when I feel like it. I hope y'all are liking this video. Uh, please hit the uh, subscribe button and God bless each and every one of you.